I'll be starting real soon. Just gotta put on the swap skin. I mean, I just gotta get ready and everything. Please hold on for another couple of minutes. Welcome, welcome, everybody to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. How is everybody doing tonight, today, wherever? Pixel Backwards is no us not, don't lie to me. So last time, I fell down a bridge. Now, where the heck am I? So got a bit into this thing. Let me know if the audio ever gets too loud. Like right now, I see that the audio is like, up. Who could that be at this time of night? Yes, Hedgeworth speaking. Edgy, get up! It's an emergency! Huh, Larry? Do you know what time it is? It's not Larry, it's Louise! Louise, don't him! This is nothing more than a terrible nightmare. I'll just roll over and... Wait, 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 don't hang up! It's an emergency! It's Nick! He, he took a really nasty spill! Well, it wouldn't be the first time, so... I'm not joking, his life is in danger! What? What happened? Tell me! Talk about a guy with bad luck, he may already be dead! Anyway, you've gotta come back. You're the only one that can help! My- my Iris! My beautiful Iris! She needs help! Alright, I don't know what's going on, but I'll be there as soon as I can. I'm at the detention center! Please, hurry! It's been one year since I left that country. I thought I wouldn't have to see him again for a while. Sounds like it won't be a pretty reunion, as if I expected anything to change. Alright, so how's everybody doing today, tonight, wherever the heck you are? Joni, John, Artaman, Arto, CB, what's up, what's up? You're late, Edgy, what took you so long? I don't want to hear it, I chartered a private jet to come as quickly as I could. Well, you should have chartered a faster <laughs> Anyway, just listen. Something happened to Miss Elise, and Nick is... Maya, and Iris' bikini! Uh, huh? Say something, Edgy! 
before I came here, I stopped by the hospital and paid right a visit. I believe I have a better understanding of the situation than you at this point. Ah, so okay. The murder victim was the picture book author, Mr. Miss Elise Stone M. She was found by Wright and the head nun. The suspect is the temple's younger nun. Then later, while Wright was crossing the bridge, it broke and he fell into the river. The hospital says that he'll need at least two days of bed rest. Y yes, and th that's right, you got it. But they arrested her. My sweet little Iris. And here I was convinced he was the one po the police had arrested. I mean, if he were the one arrested, it wouldn't be a surprise, though. Hero, welcome to the stream. How you are? How are you? However, I still don't understand what these two items are for. What are you talking about? There are things Wright gave to me when I was leaving his room. This is the first. He said some nonsense about being able to see in the people's hearts with this. And the other. He couldn't possibly be asking what I think he is. Could he? I'm begging you, Iris' trial starts tomorrow! With Nick out of the picture, you're, you're all I've got left! You're the only one that can represent her! What did you just say? Oh, hey, Chain Chomp. Newly Twitch streamer Chain Chomp. You know, represent, defend, what were you expecting? Why do you think I called you anyway? I'm a prosecutor, Larry. A prosecutor. Do you understand what I'm saying? A prosecutor is a lawyer who... Don't talk to me like a kid. I graduated from junior high, you know. So you dropped out of high school. Don't worry about it. I promise I won't tell. But I... I mean, I heard a paper batch had no problem fooling an entire court before. How could this country's judicial system have fallen into such decay? No, seriously. When Edgeworth was gone, everything- the whole country was just ruined. Edgeworth was the glue that kept the country together. He left the country, and apparently Phoenix had a phony and faked everything. Please, Edgy. At least listen to her. Listen to Iris' side of the story. So wait, so like Stevie said, looks like we're gonna play as Edgeworth. Yep, we are playing the Edgeworth right now. Phoenix Wright, my friend since grade school. In short, all right, there's Homicide Detective, Thick Gum Shoe, Larry Butt. I don't remember how we became friends though. And at least the victim. An attorney's badge, received from Wright. He wasn't serious when he gave this to me. Was he? And something about reading people's hearts, what other nonsense, and everything else. I love how he just says, like, he just gave me the badge. I'm a defense attorney now. All right, that's that's how it works, right? Arthur, you silly. Oh, yeah. Then why'd you come here so late, though? Why'd you come here so late? John, you're in Germany? Hope everything's okay with you, though. See, Arthur, sleep well. Hopefully it was me that made you fall asleep. Thank you for coming, my name is Iris. Edgeworth, Miles Edgeworth. I don't know if I can be of any help, but... I will at least hear what you have to say about the murder. Um... Mr. Wright, how is he? Mr. Lowry said that he... that he might even die. Fortunately, he will be fine. Larry, you moron, how could you say something like that? He was badly bruised when he hit the water, but otherwise he is unharmed. Thank goodness. But he's caught some kind of nasty cold. A cold? I appreciate that, Arthur. He's running a high fever and is drifting in and out of consciousness. So wait, when we saw him at the, at the hospital bed before, is that after he hit the bridge and then we saw Mia's first case in episode 4 that way? Is that how it works? I must be imagining things. This woman, I feel like I've met her before. Hold on, everybody. Will I say it? The camera is glaring at me. Aw, oh, we're not on candid camera. If something glares at you, it's only polite to return the favor is what I was taught. So smile, everybody. Candid camera. Um, is something bothering you? Hmm? Oh, excuse me. What about the guard over here? What will Edward say about him? The guard is glaring at me. If someone glares at you, it's only polite to return the favor is what I was taught. Uh, the same thing. Just, just look at everything. So, Iris, have you seen my badge? I'm gonna present my badge to her. Let's see if this works. Is that an attorney's badge? Yes, this belongs to Wright. 
Really? I'm actually a prosecutor. Let me raise up the screen. There we go. Oh, then why do you have a defense attorney's badge pinned on your lapel? Well, you see, I, uh, I borrowed it. That's how it works, right? You borrowed it. That's called a demon warding hood. I gave that to Mr. Wright last night. He was wearing this when I saw him at the hospital today. Oh, so Sabi, there you go. Phoenix was wearing this. Phoenix was- Phoenix is wearing it. Let's see. You're on the way to Canada, John? What's going on with Canada? It's an important item for protecting acolytes from evil spirits. If it's so important, then why did you give it to him? Last night I felt... something. Oh, moving, got it. I felt that something terrible was about to happen. I- I didn't want Mr. Wright to fall into its grip. Well, he wound up falling into something much deeper and... colder. I probably shouldn't say that out loud, though. Thank God for an inner monologue. Oh, thanks, Edgeworth. How has streaming been? Been pretty good, nothing crazy, though. If you were expecting something huge to happen, not the same as usual. I've been enjoying it. But yeah, Chain Chomp, have you moved because of COPPA? Because of the crazy COPPA laws? Pardon me, Iris. I wanted to ask you something, if you don't mind. I have the distinct feeling you and I have met before. It must be your imagination, Mr. Edgeworth. After all, I hardly ever leave Hazakura Temple. I mean, the thing is, I know it, I know a couple laws on YouTube are crazy right now, but... I'm sh there, there is a deadline where people are signing up petitions and whatnot. They're not being clear about what's for kids and what's not for kids. So we're gonna probably hear something in December about what's going on. It's just that YouTube is being very, very... Suspicious about this whole thing. Alex, you missed Phoenix dying last time. Only time will tell, basically. I'm gonna continue making YouTube videos. If all the thousands of videos I've made are gonna get fined $42,000 each, then okay, then I guess I owe the government $42 million then. Like, over $42 million then. Did I watch that one video from DA Games? I haven't seen that one. What was that all about? It's a place where those who wish to boost their spiritual power come to train. You need to undergo some very difficult training to release your inner spiritual power. Spiritual power? Did you go to that temple for that reason as well? No, I don't have any spiritual powers. Hey Axel, welcome to the stream. Hold on a second, why is it so hot in here? I'm burning like It basically offers a different perspective on the COPPA thing. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking no need to worry about it much. I'm just hoping it's more for those child videos like kids, like kid cartoons and whatnot, like kids cartoons and stuff like that. You made the stream hot, Axel. Pixel evades YouTube finds. Not clickbait though. In that case, what were you doing at the temple then? I, I've committed some sins. Sins that I need to pay for. That's why I'm there. And why I continue to train to purify my soul. And, yeah, I don't think Kappa is as bad as it thinks. I think people are just overblowing it. It's just that if it was that bad, YouTube wouldn't allow... Because the thing is, if Kappa is as big as people thought, it would hurt YouTube way more. People like... People like their biggest people, Markiplier, PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye. It would cause big issues if they were suddenly, f if they fell under COPPA laws. Because the thing is, that would hurt them a lot. They need the comments, they need all that stuff. Everybody needs that kind of stuff. I want to ask you about last night, the night of the crime. Alright. I helped to clean up after dinner, and then went back to my room at about 8. But Axel, I'm doing alright though. Today was very... Weird, to be honest. Weird in terms of... I don't know why. It's Tuesday, I don't know why. But, Axel, how are you doing, though? Later, I left my room to ring the lights out bell at 10. Bell? We ring it at the same time each night. I see. And then? And then... I was told to go to the training hall, but... I went back to my room and stayed there. Why didn't you go to the training hall like you were asked to? I... I was frightened. Frightened? So I just stayed in my room and meditated until the murder happened. Uwu, did you say Il Rampa? 
I don't think Danganronpa is right for this channel, though. Believe me, I tried out about 30 minutes of Danganronpa. I was like, ooh, I'll do this for YouTube. No. He says it's mainly for people who market towards kids, but their videos really aren't. Market towards kids, but their videos really aren't. Oh, you mean like those really weird kids cartoons where they animate in 3D, but it's really weird. Or the Elsa and Spider-Man videos that have been plaguing towards kids this whole time. The reason why YouTube Kids got destroyed. Is that it, basically? We got YouTube Kids. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not using that anymore because people found a way to get over YouTube Kids to put their really inappropriate stuff in YouTube Kids to get that money, of course. What is Danganronpa? Danganronpa is basically another, like, it's Phoenix Wright-esque, but it features more on really grotesque stuff. I don't, I don't know how to say it exactly. Why is there a bug in my light? Trying to get that bug like YouTube trying to go after my videos. More of marking for kids, but the content definitely isn't for kids. But I think more the people who are worried about it are people like game video game content creators like me. Like I do video game videos. Are mine for kids or not for kids? Because basically my channel is for all ages. If you're a kid or an adult, it just works. But I also need the comment system. If it's for kids. Because if my video is labeled for kids, guess what? I get no comments, I can't use the cards, people can't save my videos to their playlist, and a lot of other things. So getting your video, getting my videos marked as for kids would hurt me a lot more. You were asked to go to the training hall on the night of the murder? Yes. Don't sloths eat bugs? Axel, I'm full from eating a bunch of chicken. I'm not ready for books. Can we just make it so no one gets money? All right, so you heard Alex. All right, no money on my YouTube. All right, Patreon time then. I gotta sell out a lot more though. However, you didn't go because you said you were frightened. What exactly were you so frightened of? Oh, Edgeworth's first Magatama. W what in the world? Um, is there something wrong? I'm sorry, it's nothing. It looks like she's not aware of them herself. These must be what Wright was talking about. The Psycho Locks! That's right! The Psycho Locks! That's what they are! Definitely the Psycho Locks. The Psycho Locks. I believe he said that I need to present this Magatama item to do something. The Psycho Locks, everybody. We need those Psycho Locks. So do you have any idea as to what really occurred last night? I think it was the result of the tremendous spiritual power that was unleashed. Spiritual power? Oh wait, I assume you mean for your channel because I've seen countless Danganronpa Let's Plays. Oh, ooh, because the thing is, my videos are more PG-13-ish. I don't show anything with a lot of violence or profanity in it. I tried playing Danganronpa and it featured so much profanity that I can't really say because I don't like saying it. It's basically how I grew up and now that I hear myself saying, if I try saying it, it sounds forced. So basically, what I do now for my channel is very natural. What I do here is natural. I just don't enjoy seeing, hearing or seeing profanity much around my channel. It's kind of weird, but it's like, I consider profanity as a bad sentence filler. Like, people just use it to fill their sentences. And it's like, if I gotta, if I gotta be professional, I can't really say these things. I don't know. Blame my life. It's weird. The locks are crazy. Yeah, spiritual training has been a cause behind many great tragedies. This incident was just another example. Iris, I'm sorry, but I can't accept that. I'm a man of science. I don't believe in spiritual power. And yet we have Book of Mario. Or is Danganronpa one of those where profanity every few cents? Yep, CB is the, is the latter. Because in Book of Mario, I can easily censor that away. I can fix it. But with Danganronpa, I tried saying things, and it's like this this one character who says at least one, like, profanity every single sentence. And it's like, that's gonna make it sound very awkward. Yes, I understand. Most people don't. And I'm certain that the thing that killed the victim was a human. 
So please, answer me the simple question. What is Book of Mario? It's a series I'm doing on my YouTube channel. It's a text hack. It's a text hack of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door on GameCube, where the text in Paper Mario has been translated again and again through Google, and turned out to be some wacky nonsense. So instead of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, it's Book of Mario Thousands of Doors. It's a funny text thing, but of course because of the Google translation and translation again, it switched some words, it changed some words in a profanity, so it's like, where did that word come from? I mean, John, if you want to, it's on my, it's on my channel right now. I upload every day on my YouTube if you ever want to check it out. If you like my streams, basically my YouTube is more or less the same. I can say that to everybody. So, Iris, were you the one who killed the least on him? No, I'm not the one who took her life. Hmm. Those psycho lock things aren't appearing. I suppose that means I can believe that she's not lying. Heh. <laughs> what's wrong? What's wrong, Iris? I'll tell you what's wrong. Axel says the Nintendo Wii was released 13 years ago today. 13 years ago to- Oh my goodness, really? Oh my goodness, you're right. November 19, 2006. That's when I went to Toys R Us with my mom and got that Nintendo Wii, like, early in the morning. I remember that. Man, getting the Wii was so much fun back then. I gotta play more Wii games for my channel, I guess. Maybe, let's see, because I'm playing Sword and Shield right now on my channel. I love Sword and- I love playing Pokemon Shield so far, I just recorded an episode today. My goodness, I can't stop playing it though. Do Trauma Center, please? Axel, this is what I'm gonna say, if you want to recommend games, donate to my Patreon! <laughs> And here, I just finished saying that I don't believe in spiritual power. Hmm. It appears that's about all you can tell me. Thank you very much for listening to my story. Pixels gotta chill out. Hashtag sellout sloth because the couple laws are gonna make me pay a lot. I gotta make enough money so YouTube doesn't make me end up financially dead. I visited right at the hospital before coming here. He asked me to take care of you. Make more merch, Pixel? Who would buy my merch, though? I mean, CB, do you want to help me make merch? Do you want to make something that's merchable? Then you'll make more money. Then you'll get more money. Yes, at the trial tomorrow. He asked me to defend you. If Mr. Wright has that much faith in you, Mr. Edgeworth, then I would gladly entrust my fate to your capable hands. But before that, I have one question. Yes? Do you know right that you was gonna buy one of the shirts? I mean, I'd say the best way you can help me right now- I'd say any- to anybody who wants to help me, I'd say Patreon would be the best way to do it possible. Some people will have done it and I'm really surprised to, so it's like, that actually helps out. But if you want to buy one of the shirts, I can bring up the Teespring store again. Let me see, where is that store? Where is that store? Here it is, the store. I mean, this is this is basically a test design. I'll put it right there in the chat. That's a test design made by one of my friends in a different Discord. And of course, I am thinking about asking other artists in the future to help with more designs, but that's in the future, you know, once, if this one ever starts to like, sell. But of course, if anybody has like any suggestions for new designs or whatnot, I would like to know, because every shirt can be a sloth, but I want to know sloth of what about a sloth, like what about it? Whenever he came up in our conversation, he would begin to act a little strange. Like Pixel when he sells out. Mr. Edgeworth, what is Mr. Right to you? He is a very dear and indispensable friend. Aww. It was five years ago. That's when I, that's when I deceived him. You deceived him? I heard that he was in a lot of pain afterwards because of what happened. I know what a weak person I am. That's why... That's why I thought it was best if he never saw me again. I wanted him to just to forget about me without learning the truth. Well, if you ask me, right is still suffering. And until he learns the truth, I don't think he will ever be able to fully, truly recover. Iris, it's not too late. You should go to him. Tell him the truth. 
I'll defend you, but only if you agree to that one condition. Alright, Mr. Edgeworth. I promise. Very well, I'll do everything in my power to get you an acquittal. You know what that means, it's Edgeworth time! That's enough info for gathering for now, I should head to the crime scene. Thank you, Iris. Here we are at the bridge, hours and hours away. It sure is cold, alright. So this is it, Dusky Bridge. This is crazy. Let's see, Uru, have you played a Persona game? Because if you like JRPGs and have 100 hours, get Persona 4, Golden, or 5. Uwa Knuckles, let me tell you this. Persona 5 is on the list to play. I was actually going to stream Persona 5, but the thing is, I'm waiting until Royal comes out. So if you're looking for a Persona series, it will happen. I'm just waiting for Royal to come out. As for Persona 4, I don't have a PlayStation 2, and I don't have a Vita, so not yet. So, when Royal comes out, I will definitely play it. Persona is definitely on my list to play. I've heard so many good things about the Persona series, and 5 will be a good start. And then if I ever get a... find a way to stream Persona 4, I would love to. Let's see, so this is it, Dusky Bridge. Oh, wow, it's you, Mr. Edgeworth! Hey, my buddy Gumshoe. Ugh, oh, Gumshoe. Long time no see, it's been about a year? Or has it been longer? It doesn't matter, Detective. What does, what does matter is why you're shuffling around up here. Oh, wow. And there's that sharp left jab. Well, I'm happy to see you anyway, Mr. Edgeworth. Let me guess, you were transferred by HR to the local precinct? A wise decision. The vast amount of nothing up here should be quite easy to guard. Ooh. I heard you were back in the country and arranged to come all the way out here. Everybody was real nice, they even let me take charge in the investigation, sir. Gumshoe indeed, like gum on your shoe, he's impossible to get rid of. I'm supposed to report on the details of the crime scene, sir. Anyway, here I am, Dick Gumshoe reporting for duty. Knuckles, I just told you, I can't play Golden, how? I don't have a Vita. Um, thank you, Detective. I thought Godot was gonna get here before me. The guy's a real mystery, I tell ya. Godot? Let's talk about Godot. I just got back in the country, so I don't really know much about the case. It's simple. Well, simple is as simple does, as they say. Oh, you've got no idea how much I've missed that biting sarcasm of yours, sir. But seriously, this one's a piece of cake. There's a witness that saw the whole thing. A witness? Yeah, that bikini lady. Bikini lady here on this freezing cold mountain? Well, you should talk to her yourself if you want the details, sir. I may have to talk to this bikini lady. I mean, decisive witness myself. So this is the bridge that... Raid fell through? Yup. I can't imagine being that reckless myself. Let's see, you know, but you're just saying it will be worth it working to get the stuff to play gold and then the OG. I'm sure it'll be fine if I play 5. I heard, Opa I heard 4 and 5 are good to play either way. It's just that I was gonna play 5, but Royal got announced, so next spring when it does come out, it'll happen. It'll be fine, though. There's a lot of games I gotta play, though. I can tell you. Backlog, it continues growing. This backlog just grows and grows and grows and grows. Like, it continues growing so much that my hand is getting ripped out of here. Like, you see my hand disappearing? That's how big my backlog is. It continues growing. Why are there so many games coming out? It's crazy. Look before you cross is how it goes, right? Or was that leap? And... Is there something on the other side? Yeah, some old building they call the Inner Temple. Which, Maya is still stuck in, I bet. Is Maya gonna be okay? But we can't get over there without a bridge, sir. What? Nobody lives there, so it's usually not a problem. Maya's there. But someone was at the Inner Temple doing some training and now they're stuck there. Yes, I heard that from right. It's Maya Faye. Oh no, her again? Anyway, the air is really turbulent right now, so we can't do an aerial extraction. No one's gonna be able to reach the inner temple until tomorrow, sir. Will she be alright in this cold? So how did this bridge burn down anyway? We're almost 100% sure it was lightning. Lightning? So who is this Godot? I've never heard of him. 
Yeah, he's a new guy. Showed up after you left the country. He's a complete rookie, but nobody can say a bad word about the guy. What kind of man is he? He just became a prosecutor recently, but he's good, sir. Real good. If he's so good, how is it I've never heard of him? Is he the lead prosecutor on this case? You bet he is. After all, you know who is right in the middle of it. You know who? Phoenix Wright, of course. That handsome fellow right there, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Hold on. Uh. For some reason, Goto has really got it in for Mr. Wright. Everybody wants a piece of Mr. Wright, though. Oh? Yeah, he seems to have some kind of a grudge. And what would be the cause of this grudge? I don't know. Maybe he made fun of his mask or something. <laughs> None of this is making any sense. I'd better look into this Godot myself. You're telling me the bridge caught on fire due to a fluke bolt of lightning. Yep. Last night it, sold, it snowed for the first time in three days. It's a little unusual for lightning to occur during a snowfall like that. But according to the weather data, lightning definitely struck. That's unusual. I see. This is a very detailed weather report. Almost too detailed. It even has the exact time that the lightning struck the bridge. Oh, Dad? We got that info from the witness's testimony. Someone actually saw the lightning hit the bridge? Who is this witness? Sorry, I'll go ask one of the local cops later, sir. Phoenix's hair is too spiky, that's why. It just conducts electricity. He just starts running and it's like... He apparently holds some sort of grudge against Wright. I mean, Phoenix... I know this... I know that Phoenix looks, you know, normal and casual, but he still looks a bit awkward with his face up front. It's like everybody has a nice face... But his is like... Too symmetrical. It's like perfectly symmetrical. There's just something weird about it. His whole head is very symmetrical. It's like they only made one side of his face and just cop, just control C, control V, flip horizontally, and that's it. You can easily make that with Photoshop. It kind of does look awkward. It does. It's so symmetrical. By the way, have you seen my badge? Huh? What's that thing doing in your lapel, Mr. Edgeworth? Is it really that odd? You bet it is, sir. A prosecutor wearing a defense's attorney badge? That's like a detective with a license to kill. Does this little thing hold that ominous of a meaning? It could be. Have you ever seen this thing before? Hey, thanks a lot. I was getting kind of hungry. D Did he just bite it? <laughs> what are you doing, detective? Ugh. I thought it was some kind of candy that would fill me up, sir. Lately, I've been feeling so hungry all the time. Uh, maybe his salary has been cut just a little too much? Yeesh. He's that hungry? Oh, that's nothing. Okay. He's just that hungry, though. Whenever something happens, this guy always shows up like he hasn't got a care. In fact, you know what? Every time he shows up, I always wonder the same thing. Maybe somehow he's actually the cause of all these incidents. Yum, candy spirit thingy, yum, yum. I wonder if Gumshoe has realized it yet, but you could say the exact same thing about him. Wait, was that a fourth wall breaking thingy? Your face is more drawn out than the last time I saw you over a year ago. Really? I thought so. No, wait. It's not so much drawn out, it's weary as t and tired, or maybe just plain old thin. I thought that too, sir. My salary's been kind of on the low end. So yeah, my food options have been kind of non-existent. What the heck? Off-brand chicken soup, off-brand spaghetti, off-brand bread. Off-brand bread? Does that exist? That sort of stuff. I thought you were really into instant noodles last year. I got really sick of the stuff after a while, sir. Ouch. He's supposed to be Mr. Least the Noom's apprentice or something. Canned bread? I see. Yeah, he drew a nice portrait of me. That's nice, but he made me pay him 50 cents for it. I'm sorry about that. That was enough to buy me that canned bread I've always wanted. You don't seem very interested in him, Mr. Edgeworth. I really don't want to talk about him. That's why. Ouch. 
There's a lot we don't know about this victim. We don't know her real name, her background, we don't know anything really. It's not just bread, it's just wheat, he just bought wheat. <laughs> wheat. That's rather odd. If she was trying to hide her identity, why would she become an author? The thing is, it's not just it's not bread, it's wheat, but it's not really wheat. He just bought flour. That's all he bought, just flour. I'll bet it was just one of those things. You know. She probably never expected to get so popular. I feel like I've seen this girl somewhere before. She wasn't from a prior case, was she? Nope, can't be. We did a database search with her fingerprints and came up with nothing. I see. I just can't shake this nagging feeling. Well, everyone knows that you're quite popular with the ladies, sir. Maybe she's an old girlfriend that you sent to Dumpsville when you were younger. D -d detective where did you hear such nonsense from? I didn't hear from anyone. It's just sort of how I imagine you to be, sir. D do I really inspire the sort of froth and desire from the female masses? The female masisos? I usually hear about promising young the prosecutor candidates while they're still in school, but I've never seen or heard of this person. I gotta admit he's puzzling all right. He just appeared one day, big mug of steaming coffee in his hand. Hmm, he sounds like an interesting man. Yeah, the whole prosecutor's office is really into double espresso macchiatos lately. Macchiatos, I'm not a coffee person, so I don't understand. So this is the bridge Wright tried to cross? Pretty reckless if you ask me. I'm amazed he survived the fall from up here. Yeah, he's one lucky guy, sir. Now I see how he manages to win his cases in court. Blind luck. I think dumb luck suits Wright just a little bit better. Just something like that. There's a little shack down that way called Heavenly Hall. Steamed coffee, even the cough cup is steamed. A nice cup of steamed coffee with a plate of steamed hams and that's all good. With a steamed blanket and you're all warm. A shack? It's like a rundown doghouse for losers that can't bear the freezing drafts of wind. Kinda reminds me of my apartment, sir. The name Heavenly Hall makes it sound like a palace. Giving a hovel a great name is a crime itself. I'd call it great- I'd great- I'd call it false advertisement. By the way, the name of my apartment complex is Compton Castles. That's not such a great name if you ask me. Well, it's not such a great apartment either, sir. Uh, give Gumshoe a raise. I feel so sorry for the man. It looks like a pretty good distance to that far cliff. Yeah, it's gotta be around 100 yards or so. Detective, that's not even close to 100 yards. Well, I gotta admit I'm not very good at judging distances. It's about 20 yards or so. And impossible to cross without a bridge, it seems. Leave it to Edgeworth, he knows the exact distance of everything. Some letters are widely engraved into a roughly cut boulder. Dusky Bridge. It certainly is an appropriate name. You need to get some glasses, Mr. Edgeworth. That sign says Dusty Bridge. Really? I can see how you read it wrong, though, sir. You're the one who needs glasses, detective. Try reading it one more time. Ah, oh, you're right, it's Dusky Bridge after all. I guess whoever wrote this made a mistake. How? How does this look like Dusty Bridge? Are people that blind, though? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it must have been a Japanese joke. It must have been a localization joke in Japan. So they try to make it funny here. Hey, it's a public phone. You don't see a lot of these anymore. That's true. Since we've got one here, why don't we take a photo as a memento? Well, um, sure, why not? Oh, darn it, I don't, I don't have a camera with me. I'm gonna go buy a disposable camera. I'll be right back, sir. What's so special about public phones and why is he so fascinated by them? Dusty bridge by all the dust everywhere. But it's not dusty! What are people talking about? It's not dusty! Yo, Wedgie, what took you so long? I'm so cold, my brains turned to Sherbert! I knew it was a mistake to race back to this country. W what do you mean? Right is going to be fine, and the case itself isn't uh, anything unusual. And I found myself taking a request to defend the woman accused of murder. Hey, wait a sec. Hold it, objection! What's going on here, Mr. Edgeworth? Um, it's hard to explain, but one thing led to another, and... What kind of lame excuse is that, and you call yourself a defense attorney? 
Edgeworth is a prosecutor, and that's why he's Prosecutor Edgeworth. Prosecutor Edgeworth, that's the defense attorney, just sounds plain old weird, pal. Right, Prosecutor Edgeworth? I'm not sure what role I'm supposed to be playing anymore. <sighs> Dude, Edgy, I don't see you for a couple of years and your heart turns to Sherbert. I say more like Sorbet. It is rather cold here. Iris didn't murder her, someone else did it. I just know it, okay? So trust me on this one. Ever the romantic, aren't you, Larry? Nevertheless, I'll do whatever I can to prove her innocence. At least until I pass the baton on to Wright, that is. Judge Edgeworth? Judge Edgeworth does have a good ring to it. Judgey Worthy. Worthy the judge. That must be the main hole back there. A brilliant deduction, sir! <laughs> Are you trying to flatter me, Detective Gumshoe? Um, a brilliant use of suspense to build attention, sir. According to Wright, the head nun has some important info. I can't miss the opportunity to speak with her. This gate looks quite old, strong enough to resist the weight of time. That's the edge I know, you got a real flair for words, sir. I have always appreciated this kind of old, timeless elegance. That's exactly how I feel, too. Take this coat, for example. Like a fine wine, it gets better with age. Even fine wine turns to vinegar and begins to stink at some point. I suggest you wash that atrocious rag you call a coat detective. Poor Gumshoe. Edgeworth comes back and he's just getting ragged on over and over again. Ouch. I suppose this type of thing is necessary up here in the mountains. Say, this just gave me a great idea. Something tells me he's gonna tell me what's on, what's on his mind, whether I like it or not. I've got an idea for a brand new invention. It might even make me rich. An invention? More like Detective Bumshoe Austin. Wait, Austin Austin? Like Austin, Texas? No, I'm just kidding. Austin, it, is that you? It's been a while. Yeah, a car that can travel on snow. I'll call it a snow car. So what do you think, sir? Would you go for a ride on something like that? Only after you take the first 1,000 test rides. What's going on, Austin? I haven't heard, fear, heard from you in a long while. What's going on? The snowmobile knows a snow car. I'm riding a snow car right now, you see? Wow, that was a fun test ride right there. You want a snow helicopter? Well, you know what I want? I want a snow life. Actually, that would that would be bad. That would that would melt a lot. If I get a snow life, that thing would just be gone instantly. It's like, look at my snow life, everybody. And that's it. It's all gone. D did I deserve that? Did I deserve to have a melty car like that, though? Do, 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 do. Hold on, just checking something real quick. I think a message just popped up. Okay, no, that's just my mind. Regarding Kappa. Apparently, let's see. It's about data collection. Let's see. Four kids videos, blah, blah, blah. The bits are really freaking now. <laughs> Apparently somebody just released a long tweet about more COPPA stuff, and it's like, if you're ever worrying about it, 99% of YouTubers are not on the radar here. Let's see, because if something like that would happen, there'd be a lot, a lot of legal pushback. So basically, we don't have much to worry about, it's just data collection. So it's just tiered, tiered videos, I guess. I don't know, people are just saying things here and there, but... You know, I don't think there's nothing much to worry about Kappa, I guess. Let's see, just doing other things you suppose, thanks for asking. No problem, Austin. Like, you haven't shown up for months, and then you pop up in my stream like nothing happens? Like, come on. Hey, that just reminded me, there's something I've always wondered about. Something tells me he's gonna tell me what's on his mind, whether I like it or not. We call a person who tells a lie a liar, right? So why don't we call a person who rings a bell a beller? Or truer for a guy who sells the truth. Or slothfer for someone who's a sloth. Oh man, I'm not gonna get any sleep tonight. Hey Joni, welcome to the stream. Wait, you were here earlier, Joni. I saw that cat before. Are you just hiding from me now? 
You think you're sipping on a drink? Well, look at me sip too. To anybody who was listening to that, I'm sorry. I had no idea he was such a deep thinker. You calling me a liar? I ain't calling you a truther. I love that Drake and Josh scene. Scene. Come to think of it, when you when you were a kid, you were always saying, "When I grow up, I'm gonna be a lawyer and defend people," or something like that. That was a long time ago. But see, now you've got the chance to follow your boyhood dream for a day. Edgy, you've got to do it. You got to save my little Iris. By the way, to anybody who's been interested in watching my Pokemon card opening videos on YouTube, I did get a few. P I did get a few packs, so. There will be another video coming up soon. I just need to continue doing those since there were new packs that just came out. Hmm. Ugh, this is exactly why I hate childhood friends. Yeah, they get awkward. Oh, he doesn't know about that? Gotcha. What about Iris' hood, though? He doesn't like Iris' hood? Come on, it's Iris' hood. He was a good guy. A real pal to the end. When I look back now, I have nothing but good memories. Wait, what? What's with the past tense? He's not dead, you know. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, the guy owes me. After all, I saved his life. What is that supposed to mean? You liking Sword and Shield? You haven't gotten it yet? I love Sword and Shield. Well, I'm playing Shield on my YouTube channel right now. If you go to youtube.com slash Basically, if you want like a few min- If you want like personal opinions, you can watch through the first episode on my YouTube channel. I'm liking it. But people, other people are liking it too. It's a pretty good game. It's good. If I hadn't called for help so quickly, he would have died. It's no surprise though. I used to be a security guard. It was all instinct, baby. He has a point. He called me pretty quickly too. Ah, uh, you saw. I just trying to avoid spoilers when it comes to the story. Well, let me tell you the first episode... Not much spoilers to the story. It's something you're gonna see instantly. I know the videos are long, but the thing is, the main story doesn't happen like until two or three episodes in, I guess. I think Larry's pretty good at motivating people. I just wish he would try motivating himself once in a while. But let me tell you, the beginning is not deep and all that. It's not a deep opening. It's all good though. Huh? Me? All you have to do, all you have to know is remember not to call me Larry anymore. What? I'm a new person now. I've been reborn as Laurie Stone Im. Alright, fine. Let me ask you something else then, Larry. Call me Laurice. If you don't, then I'll call you. I'll call you Melise. Melise? Don't Im. Got a favorite Pokemon from this generation yet? Well, if you want a favorite, it's Sobble. I still can't believe it. She was such a great person. But someone's pinning this murder on my sweet little Iris. Edgy, please, I'm counting on you. You beat the 8th gym yet, and as far as you can tell, the real story hasn't started yet? CV, how dare you? I mean, I've recorded up to the first batch so far, so that episode will come out Friday, I think? There's a new episode of Shield coming out tomorrow, and then Friday's a double upload day, so... More Shield coming soon. I've been enjoying it. I just gotta edit these things, they're so long. Frankly, I was hoping you could give me a little more than that. Uh, well then. I got it. I'll draw your portrait. How about that? The since you're kind enough to offer, alright. I have a feeling that she's hiding something. You say you say it's more like Phoenix Wright. There's an investigation period and then the truth comes to light. I mean, from the friends who have beat it who have already beat it, they say the post-game is interesting, so good to know that's a post-game. Could be, after all, she's shy and gets embarrassed pretty easily. I don't think that has anything to do with it. Why not? Look, I know all about this kind of thing. Come on, Edgy. You were a guy once. A guy once? A guy once, he says. Pixel, you were a sloth once. Well, you most certainly seem to have convinced yourself. Man, I love shy girls like her. It's just so cute, you know what I mean? Still doesn't listen to others, I see. I guess some people just never change. Oh, he doesn't know about Godot, of course. Gotcha. Let's talk. Man, I'm telling you, Iris is so cute. Right, Edgy? You think so too, don't you? What's wrong? Why are you so quiet? 
To put it simply, your comment has me highly concerned. Could it be that the reason you think she's innocent? Come on, a girl that cute can't possibly be a murderer. I was right after all. I should never have come back. N no, no, don't worry. I see things for how they really are this time. Honest. If I had a penny for every time he said that. It's just that, well, Iris is a delicate flower. You can't force things too much. Know what I mean? Loving most of the new Pokemon, some of the Galarian forms especially. No, the Pokemon are awesome. I like them. I love them so. Oh, forget it. I didn't say anything. Larry, where were you and what were you doing on the night, on the night of the crime? Larry? What? Don't tell me. You think I might have done it? W what? Get lost! Go back, go back on your jet and get out of my sight, you creep! And I hope your plane crashes and you die- What? I'll ask just one more time. On the night of the murder, where were you and what were you doing? And... Psycho locked. Ah, oh, three, three psycho locks. As I suspected, psycho locks. <laughs> I freaking love that Edgerow calls them psycho locks. I'm sorry, man. You know me. I just don't remember. My short-term memory is a wreck, dude. Psycho locks. I hate those psycho locks. They're so psycho. It's Bikini. Hey, hello there. So, how are you feeling? Alright, I suppose. Huh? Who is this? I... My name is... Miles Edgeworth. My, 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 a handsome boy such as yourself is always welcome. Hmm... <sighs> If circumstances weren't so tragic, I might just... Please don't call me boy. I'm sorry to trouble you. But I'm looking for a woman in a bikini. Well, you have found her. Now, what can I do for you? I'm sorry, but I don't see any bikinis. <laughs> if you ask nicely, I might give you a peek, big boy. I need an adult. Oh, can I still do this? Ah, oh, dang it, it doesn't work that way. I was trying to do this here. I need an adult. <laughs> oh, um, Mr. Edgeworth. This is the head nun, Sister Bikini. She's the witness. Why didn't you tell me that earlier? This is exactly why your salary keeps on getting cut. Her face bounces. My face would bounce too if I weren't so skinny, I guess. Oh, my stomach is already growling in protest. So, um, what's the latest about my beloved Iris? She's serious now, look at that. Well, first, I want to hear what you know. First, let's check around here. That thing sure casts a strong presence over the whole room. This is the Lesser Magatama. It's a precious heirloom containing a great many souls. Huh? This is Lesser? What is the Greater One like? The Greater Magatama is displayed in the main room of Fame Manor. It was supposed to be shown at the Treasures of Curate exhibit, but it was so large that they couldn't bring it through the doors. So they tried bringing a gigantic Magatama through. There's flowing script everywhere written on the walls. Man, I bet you have awful nightmares if you try to sleep in here. This is our main hall, so it's protected by a variety of magic spells and charms. They're all designed to prevent evil forces from entering. So if I slept here, the Oogie Woogie... The oo the oo oo boogie bet boo woo man wouldn't hunt me down for eternity. All right, the oo woo oo boo woo. Does this guy think about anything other than eating and sleeping? The oo woo man. If you're not careful, the oo woo man will come for you. <laughs> there are more ends of cushions in the corner of the room. What's that white piece of paper sticking out from under that stack? Ah, oh, beats me. Would you mind checking that out for me, Detective Gumshoe? Yes, sir. The oo man's hiding in there. Here you are, Mrs. Edgeworth. It looks like an old manila envelope. Envelope. Ugh! What is it, Gumshoe? Th this this could be it. An ultra-important clue, a super special clue. I suppose I should read it myself, then. It looks like a letter addressed to Sister Iris. Tonight at 10 at Heavenly Hall. Unless you want your secret to be exposed? This sounds like a blackmail letter. Ooh. Nice going there, Mr. Edgeworth. Why can I ever find clues like that? You're an ultra-important prosecutor. A super-duper prosecutor. 
Well, I suppose it takes a super duper kind of dumb to miss a clue like this. You shed dwarf? Oh, it's a warmed cat box, but where are all the cats? It's called a hibachi. It's for heating the room. Oh, look at all these ancient straw frisbees. Those are a type of zabutan cushions called Enza. Why are you giving me such a hard time? Huh, Mr. Edgeworth? Why? Because learning something new might actually be a good thing for you, Gumshoe. Detective? It's an altar with a giant Magatama enshrined on it. There are lots of candles lined up on it, too. You know, I haven't had a birthday party for myself in a while. Maybe you should blow out those candles over there and make up for that. Mr. Edgeworth, would you mind singing happy birthday to me? Stop that. Cut that out. Please don't blow out the, can the altar candles. Happy birthday to you. The demons got you. Goodbye, Mr. Gumshoe. The spirits got you. I'm about this here. Oh, she doesn't know about the badge, then. Oh, what am I streaming on Thursday? It's on my schedule. I'm streaming Shovel Knight. That's... That's one of the Fate Clan's very own Magatamas. That's a priceless treasure you've got there. W wow, I'm impressed, sir. You never failed to surprise me. Yes, you don't look it, but now I can see you're a real fan of the occult. Excuse me? Oh, of course this piece couldn't possibly be real, but to have such a nice replica... Clearly you are a big fan of the Kurain tradition. By the way, CB, why are you asking? Wow, I'm impressed, sir. You never failed to surprise me. I should have known better than, than to show this thing around. Well, 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 that's a demon warding hood. Acolytes are highly susceptible to possession by evil spirits, you know. That's why we always wear these for protection. Oh, I did not know that. Now, now. November 21st is CB's birthday. Oh, I'm curious, CB. Why? What did you want me to stream on Thursday? Because if Shovel Knight's not your thing, then what is? What was I? What else was? What else was I streaming this week? Let's see. What am I streaming the rest of the week? Let's see. Cause on Thursday I got Shovel Knight, Saturday I got Smash, and Sunday I have no idea because I beat Portal 2. Now that Portal 2 is done, I gotta find another game to take over. Nothing in mind, no, but that's good to know, good to know. Oh, I see. Did you just say that because I was singing happy birthday, though? What are you waiting for? You won't get any protection just by holding it, you know? Put it on already! Now Edgeworth wearing the hood! No, I can't! I was just... <laughs> oh, it's like it was just made for you, Mr. Edgeworth. What do you mean by that, detective? It looks absolutely marvelous. So Edgeworth is wearing it. Is this some sort of divine retribution? But yes, Stevie, if you're not gonna pop up on Thursday, then yes, advanced birthday to you. Advanced Shokan birthday! Do you know anything about this old crumpled up letter? Is that addressed to Iris? Yep, it clearly says two Iris on it. I can't believe it. That girl doesn't have any secrets from me. Ah, uh, so Sister Bikini didn't know anything about it. Oh. First, I'd like to ask you about last night. Well, last night, we had an acolyte here for training. After dinner, the two of us went to the training hall in the inner temple. She must be talking about Maya. Approximately what time was that? I suppose it was around 9 when we left here. Training lasts all night long, and it's, it's extremely exhausting. The channeling dojo's head nun must be in attendance at all times to keep watch. Wow, you're right. That does sound exhausting. Detective, this is no time for flattery. Sorry. Sometime around 11, you witnessed the incident in the courtyard, but your duty was in the inner temple. Why did you come back here? Hmm, the way you're staring at me, I'm starting to get goosebumps. <laughs> Ugh, I'm starting to get goosebumps myself, but for a, a different reason. Well, you get the chills pretty easily, don't you, Mr. Edgeworth? All right then. I like to. I like you to tell me exactly what you saw in the courtyard. It must have been past eleven. No, I can't say it. It's too much for my poor heart. Hey, calm down, lady. Let go of my tie. Oh. I saw two people. One of them was lying on the ground. Th the other was stabbing her from the back with a sword. Did you see this criminal with your own eyes? 
I didn't want to believe what I was seeing, but it was Iris. You must have been quite shocked. Of course she was. Try putting yourself in her shoes. It'd be like if you were stabbing Mr. Wright smack in the middle of a courtroom. Gumshi, you know that Edgeworth saw his father die right in front of him, right? And I happened to witness from the witness stand. I'd be pretty shocked too. I know it sounds insane, but that's what I saw. And when I finally realized what I was seeing, I screamed. And then, I passed out. Unfortunately for us, her testimony seems to be pretty solid. However, the idea of Iris doing such a foul act seems... Unnatural. Unnatural? The girl I know simply isn't capable of this sort of foulness. I wonder what she means by that. Hold on. Uh! Alright Austin, thanks for coming by. It was great seeing you. Hope to see you again soon. Why does that have such a sour taste? Alright. As the head nun, it's your duty to stay with the acolyte at all times, correct? Yes, that's correct. I know I may not look str I may look strong, but the truth is I've got a bad lower back. That's a lot of people today, I bet. A bad lower back. Yes, it's especially bad in the winter. So bad that I can't even lift a bucket. Do you remember how cold it was last night? My bad back felt as stiff as frozen glass. I just wanted to take a nice hot bath to ease my aching back. That's why I returned to the main hall. So you left the disciple all alone. Don't be ridiculous. I would never do that. That's why I ordered Iris to the inner temple after she had rung the bell for lights out. Yes, but she never went to the inner temple, did she? So this head nun actually see Iris there? I think I tr better try to get some more details. So who is this acolyte that was to train at the inner temple? Her name is Maya Faye. I treated her very badly, I'm ashamed to say. And after she went through the trouble of signing up for the special course. Special course? It's a training session where you sit on a block of spirit ice and chant 30,000 times. You don't mean to tell me she's still doing that over at the inner temple, do you? No, 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 of course not. You don't have to worry about that one little bit. Last night, we still hadn't started the training session itself. Well, um, that's good to hear. Oh, dear, dear, there's one thing I forgot to tell you. Uh-oh, I don't think I like the sound of this. Do you know that small girl? I believe she is Mystic Maya's little sister. Maya has a little sister? Oh, you mean Little Pearl! That's Maya Faye's cousin. Little Pearl? I thought she was going to visit Mystic Elise after we'd finished with dinner cleanup. But I haven't seen her at all since late last night. She's nowhere to be found. You mean she's... She was with the victim? It's all the fault of my stupid, creaky old back. A little girl who was with the victim on the night of the crime, murder, is gone. As they say, the plot thickens. Oh no, Pearlie's still lost, that's right. Pearly, no! Ooh. And this is where the murder took place, sir. Other than removing the body, we left everything else untouched. Thanks, detective. I'll just have a look around. It looks like the police are still investigating. Oh yeah, by the way, I thought I'd better ask, just to be sure. Are you really gonna defend that nun Iris at the trial tomorrow? Yes, I will. I gave her my word and now I must follow through on my commitment. Well, in that case... I've got to be careful. Got to make sure I don't leak the prosecution's whole investigation. Don't worry about it, detective. Just keep your mouth closed and I think most of it will flow out on its own. You got it, sir. I'll make sure it flows out like water from a tap. Y yes you do that, detective. Just how much has your runny spout leaked over the years? It's been leaky like a drip drip drip. So the sword from this gold statue is actually from Pokemon Sword. It's actually the murder weapon. It sure is. It's called a Shiti Shito, by the way. Nasty piece of work, sir. There's still blood on it. I suppose this is the victim's blood? Yep, it's all over the blade. And speaking of all over the blade, there are fingerprints all over the hill of the Shiti Shito, too. Fingerprints? Naturally, they match the prints. They match the prints we got from the younger nun, the defendant. Her fingerprints are on the murder weapon? What's wrong? You're looking really solemn. 
Is this how it is for right? Is this what it's like to be a defense attorney? Yeah, I figured it doesn't feel really good. To be honest, it feels more like it's detrimental to your health. I'm surprised Phoenix's hair hasn't turned gray yet. At that point, Phoenix's hair should be bright gray. What's this? It looks like a wizard staff. That belonged to the victim, Mr. Lee Stone Inn. Except that the jewel in there is missing. There's nothing strange or magical about it. Oh yeah, listen, this is just between us, okay, sir? Yes, what? This is top secret stuff. Don't tell anyone about this. Alright. The truth is, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a wizard. Aww. Little wizard gumshoe. That's it? That's what you wanted to tell me? That's it? This stuff was made from a very strong kind of wood. What about fingerprints? Were there any on it? Just the victims. Alright, cool. Now I can be a mage. Edgeworth the mage. It's a lantern. I suppose they light it at night. There's something elegant about the light of a fire. At the end of each month, I always like to relax in my room by candlelight. Detective, can you not afford to pay your electricity bill? How did you know? Can can we sort of can we sort of go fund me for this guy? I just no. How broke is he? Ah, it hurts just hearing about his financial difficulties. The main game must just be over that stone wall. Ah, stone walls. I jumped over a few of those in my time. Most of them are good memories, but not all. Detective, perhaps someone should introduce you to the concept of posit or the concept of paucity of words. Aw, oh, but there's a ladder right here. I gotta talk about the ladder. Ah, I just love skiing. Really, you don't um seem like the type. Well, what about sleds? Sleds? Nah. They're a little too kitty, you know. It messes with my hard-boiled image. Hashtag protect gumshoe. What's with the silence, Mr. Edgeworth? I uh, is the world starting to go mad? Is the world starting to go mad? The main hall of Hasakura Temple is above us here. Hey, you're right, but I'm pretty sure the main hall didn't have a second floor. Hasakura Temple is built on a steep part of the mountain. The front and back of the main hall are on different levels. Oh, that makes sense. But wouldn't it be easier just to build a place slanted, sir? I fail to see how we can consider that to be even a remotely good idea. That's Gumshoe. He has ideas, but that's just it. They're just ideas. Smash Ultimate for Game of the Year? Oh, come on, Chain Chomp. That can't be, though. But yes, the Game Award, the Game Award nominees came out, though. What's everybody's, like, choices for the nominees? Oh, come on. I just had them earlier. Where are they? Nominees for Game of the Year. We have Untitled Goose Game, Untitled Goose Game, Untitled Goose Game, Untitled Goose Game, and Death Stranding. I mean, I think Smash has a good chore, has a good, it has a good point at this, it has a, it has a good chance, yes. Sorry, my brain is weird today. You just want Fortnite to not win? The victim is a, the, the victim is the famous picture book Arthur Ms. Elise Don't In. Her entire past, up, up until she won that writing of a war last year, is a total mystery. CB, I'm not a Fortnite fan and I take total offense to that. I will have to ban you for that? It's hard to believe in this day and age you can still find people like that. The estimated time of death of the victim was between 10 and 11 p.m. on February 7th. Cause of death was blood loss resulting from a stab to the back by the murder weapon. The murder weapon? The victim was found screwed with a giant sword, sir. Th that's terrible. Yeah, but there's one strange thing. Yeah? The victim's entire body was covered with bruises. The bruises are consistent with falling from the height of a two-story building. A two-story building? That will be about the same height as that room in front of us, correct? Hey, you're right. Way to go, Mr. Edgeworth. That just happens to be the room that Elise Donim was staying in. Maybe she was pushed out of, out of the window after she was stabbed by the sword? The autopsy report, but something tells me I need to fix that up a bit. There's not- nothing's right about it, though. Hold on. Just 
Just let me put that here. Because it just needs a bit of a change, know what I mean? There we go. The updated Elise Autopsy Report. That's what we need. And of course, to fix that up... We got the, up we got the updated Autopsy Report. And of course, it says like... Oh, yeah. Oh, I wish I could make another, but I think that I can only make one. But yes, there it is. The updated Autopsy Report. Courtesy of Edgeworth. Now then, Detective... The updated, updated Optops report. <laughs> yes, exactly. Let's see if we can summarize what we've learned so far. Okay, let's take a look at the map. According to the testimony of Sister Bikini, the head nun, right after they finished the dinner, after they finished dinner, my she and my fate headed to the inner temple. I can't wait for. Uh, the updated report, the updated inner temple. There we go, it's been updated. At 10 p.m., after ringing the bell for light, Iris went to the inner temple. And remember, she was also updated as well. She's updated, Iris. When she got the bikini, had to take over while she went back to Hatsukura Temple. Updated, uh, updated bikinis, there we go. So been following her the whole time. After taking a hop after to her back, been updated. Everything's updated. Sister Bikini witnessed the murder in the courtyard. If you want more details, you should ask Bikini herself in the main hall. The inner temple, huh? I'd like some more info about that place. The trial begins tomorrow, but who's the prosecutor? I'm pretty sure it's that Godot guy, but nobody can get a hold of him, so they're looking for a replacement. What do you mean? It's really weird. All of a sudden, no one can reach him. I wonder if the rumors are true. Maybe since Mr. Wright called cold and won't be defending, he just lost interest. I intend to appear in court in the role of a defense attorney. However, I would be quite unhappy if it came out that I'm actually a prosecutor. Yeah, I see why. But I'm not the one you have to worry about. I think the real problem is going to be that judge. Yes. He would certainly remember my face even after such a long absence. That's why I requested that another judge preside over the trial tomorrow. We've only met each other once. There's a good chance he won't remember me at all. Yeah, but what about the prosecutor? Everyone in the prosecutor's office must know you. Wouldn't it be a problem if someone there made a big stink, sir? There's no need to worry. I pulled a few strings and arranged for a prosecutor of my own choosing. Wow, Mr. Edgeworth. I had no idea you had such a powerful string to pull. Updated string. What is this inner temple that Maya was supposedly training at? According to Bikini, it's an old building they used for training the acolytes. It's on the other side of Dusky Bridge. The bridge that burned down, huh? Is there anything else on the other side of that bridge besides the inner temple? Nope, not a thing. Updated prosecutor report. Updated prosecutor. Updated title. Miles Edgeworth. The... The fern, the fence attorney, the fern, the fern, the fern. Oh, sour. Nothing. The other side is surrounded by cliffs on all sides. In a way, it's kind of like a little island out there. So the only thing there is the inner temple. And here's not the kind of place a person could survive in. Please be alright, Maya. Edgeworth cares! Edgeworth cares! Hmm. Oh, we're back here. Huh, I don't see Larry anywhere. Maybe we scared the poor kid away. His heart was shut tight with a number of psycho locks. I guess I have to look for him now. What a thorn in my side. I love that Edgeworth still calls it psycho locks. I love that so much. Ah, Mr. Edgeworth. I came back because I need to ask you a few more questions, if you don't mind. But I... I've already told you everything that I... Iris, please remember. I'm on your side. You can tell me anything. Yes, thank you. I just finished speaking with the head nun of Hazakura Temple. 
She testified very clearly as to what happened. She said she saw you stab Miss Elise Donin with a sword. And one other thing. She said that when my fate began a training at the Inner Temple, you were there as well. What? When I spoke with you last, you claimed that you never went to the Inner Temple. And yet, Sister Bikini says she met with you at the Inner Temple that very night. But I... I didn't go there. I didn't go to the Inner Temple last night. Huh. It looks like she's unwillingly to tell me the truth, the whole truth. I wonder if I'll find the answers I'm looking for if I break those psycho locks. Break all of them psycho locks. Is that an attorney's badge? Oh, I think I already think that. Okay. Wait. Oh, yeah. It's weird hearing Edgeworth say take that. Edgeworth said take that. Since I have been handed this case, it is my duty to dig up all the answers. Understand? Yes, sir. The smallest flame can sometimes bathe the case in a whole new light. In my years of court, I've seen it happen over and over again. That's why I'm committed to searching until I have those answers. Now then, is it really true that you didn't go to the inner temple last night? Yes, I swear. I already told you that. Yes, you said you didn't go because you were frightened. That's right. If that's the case, then the obvious question is, what were you so afraid of? Iris, I wonder, is this what frightened you so much that you couldn't even leave your own room? This note! I found this in the main hall. It is addressed to you. Ah, uh, that's... Well, Iris, why, why are you glaring at me like that? You were scared of the blackmailer who wrote this to you, isn't that correct? Gotcha. Was the evidence of the power of my glare that broke that lock? Oh well, I don't suppose it matters either way. But, Mr. Edgeworth... Yes? I thought that letter was just someone playing a prank on me. A prank? Well, yes. After all, even if I did have a secret, there's no one to tell it to that will cause me any grief. Hmm, I wonder about that. Sister Bikini is like a mother to me. I will never hide anything from her. No, you may not have anything to hide under normal cir circumstances. However, last night was different. Unfortunately, I don't know what the exact nature of your secret is. However, whatever it is, there is one person you didn't want your secret told to. Phoenix. Phoenix. Phoenix Wright. You mean something to write, it seems. And I can tell he holds a special place in your heart as well. That's why you didn't want him, of all people, to know your deep, dark secret. Well, what do you have to say? I should have expected as much, especially from a friend of his. Gotcha! Psycho Log's broken! Aw, she looks very nice, blushing. After dinner, this letter was waiting for me in my room. As I said, I was frightened by it. Is the, what is this heavenly hole the letter mentions? It's a small mountain shack at the base of Dusky Bridge. A small shack, huh? It's more like a broken down shack that no one would ever want to go near. Huh. Where is it on this map? Oh, nice! God, I just drew that right now, like, let me draw, I'm a good artist. No commissions. It's around here, to get there you must follow a small path down from Dusky Bridge. The reality is, to get to the Inner Temple, I had no choice but to cross that bridge. But the thought that such a terrible criminal could be lurking in Heavenly Hall... I... I was so scared about the whole affair that I didn't even think... want to think about it. So this is the secret that you locked away in your heart. Yes. It looks as though I may have to visit this Heavenly Hall now. Maybe I'll find some sign of our mystery blackmailer. In any case, you still claim to have never left your room last night. Yes, that's exactly right. Thank you, Iris. The trial starts tomorrow. I promise you, I will win. I'm gonna win so that you and Phoenix Roy can see each other again. But when I do, you must promise me that you will tell him your secret. But it's pointless. Why would you say that? Because I may know who Phoenix Wright is, but he has no idea who I am. Mmm. Weird, weird indeed. Alright, Heavenly Hall. What the? Why? 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 
Lowry freaking ships them together before it was official, or even official, or close to official. So, that, that's weird. Whoa, not much of a view down here, huh? It's still better than the view from my apartment, though. Someone's here, hide yourself, detective. Oh, why, why, why? Why does this always happen? Oh. Whenever I find a girl I like, they always run away. I even chased one of them to Japan. Next is gonna be prison, I guess. I'll steal that detective's wallet. That'll get me locked up for sure. Nah, I can't do that to someone who looks like he's down on his luck. He's just talking to himself. Shh, be quiet and listen. I knew it. I shouldn't have done that. I blew it again. Done that? What did he do, I wonder? Hey, you, about what you just said. I got an objection. Nani? Reggie, you dirty rat. Gumshoe, you oaf. I'm sorry, sir. Before I knew it, I was shouting out objection. And in a loud, commanding voice, too. I even pointed with my pointer finger. Well, I do it with my pinky. Objection. You've watched too many trials. I'm sorry. Okay, Larry, the jig is up. What have you got to say for yourself? Uh... First, I want to see what this is. That's a horrible graffiti problem you got there, pal. The fancy objection. When in doubt, pinky out. Objection. You don't know anything, detective. This is art. It's an expression of my bittersweet love for Iris. Larry, do you know what the difference between graffiti and true art is? It's how the artist himself defines it, right? I should have seen that one coming. Well, if that's the case, then all my lunchboxes are masterpieces too, pal. I do like Larry's new theme, though. It's so silly. The straw roof is totally covered with freshly fallen powdery snow. Wow, it makes a nice image, doesn't it? I always did like the rustic look. Heavenly Hall. I suppose it's an appropriate name in some sense. You got that right. Look at that bridge up there. This place has got to be heaven, because that thing is... Whew! You would do well to remember, Larry, that this is a sacred place to some people. Because this thing is... Heck! It's a little far, but I have a pretty clear view of Dusky Bridge from here. Ah, I still can't believe it. Really? What is it, Larry? Uh, uh, nothing. It's nothing. Sounds pretty suspicious to me. Something about that statement smells, and you know what they say. It's usually the butts! What is this festive-looking ornament? It reminds me of our class in grade school. We used to have a lot of fun decorating the classroom for origami, remember? Well, I... Oh, yeah, you were never any good at it. Really? Yeah, this guy was so bad he couldn't even fold a doll or let alone a crane. Everyone tried to comfort him, but he would just sit there sobbing. Really? I never would have expected that. Be quiet already. I'll never forget the shame of that day. You want a crane? I can now make a perfect quarter-inch crane without a single flaw. You know, Edgy. Nothing for nothing, but a quarter-inch crane without a single flaw is not easy. Yeah, that's quite a feat, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Uh, this is exactly why I hate childhood friends. <laughs> this is the Eagle River, sir. It runs pretty fast, so it doesn't ice over, even in the winter. If it had iced over, Wright would have been in some serious trouble. You're right about that. He would have landed on the ice and slid downstream to who knows where. Not exactly what I mean, but alright. It was like a fun slide of death, like wee! Ah! He's go all the way down to Dusky Bridge. Up to Dusky Bridge. It's a long but easy walk. I fell down four times on my way down here, sir. Oh, sorry about that, detective. I ate four bananas and tossed their peels on the stairs on my way down here? What? What? So that's what I was slipping on? Be careful on the way back. Those deadly banana peels are still out there. That's a real important piece of info right there, Mr. Edgeworth. Just watch out for those... Dastardly banana peels, I guess. What is this little shack anyway? Well, I just discovered it myself yesterday. And why were you down here in the first place? Ah, uh, come on, I'm an artist. I was looking for a good place to sketch. 
This is a great little place. It's, uh, artistic. It's quiet, it's cold, it's got no power, and it looks like it's about to collapse. Sounds like a lot like my apartment there, pal. One thing's for sure, no one is likely to show up and disturb you here. So can I get you something to drink? Some hot water, maybe? He's getting all buddy-buddy on us, sir. Hot water? Anybody want some hot water? Listen to me, Edgy. You've got to do this. You've got to save Iris. Why are you so sure she's innocent? Because she's cute? Watch your mouth! Anyway, I've made up my mind about it. I'm going to marry that girl. Um... Mr. Edgeworth is... Mr. Edgeworth is pretending he didn't hear you, so I'm going to ask for him. Have you already asked this girl to marry you? No, no, not yet, but I can tell how she feels by the look in her eyes. She's got this, I really want this man to carry me over the threshold look. I'm sure Nick would be surprised. He never imagined that I could marry such a beautiful girl like that. Something tells me he would be shocked, indeed. That's why I didn't want her to do anything dangerous. I mean, what am I gonna do if she gets hurt? What is this guy trying to say? He lost me about a mile back. Huh, if we really want to know the answer to that, we're gonna have to drag him onto the witness stand. Come to think of it, you still haven't answered my question. Where were you and what were you doing last night? Aw oh, man, don't you have anything else to talk about? With that kind of attitude, you'd never be a ladies' man like me. Okay, okay, chill out with those scary eyes. I got it. If you really want to know, last night, I saw something incredible. Something incredible? Does that look incredible to anybody there? I'm sure it's very incredible. Yeah, yeah, but let's not talk about that now. Let's talk about the good old days. What do you say? Come on, I'll pour you a nice cup of hot water. Why hasn't he realized that I absolutely despise talking about the good old days, especially with him? So I guess it's almost time to break up the chains. But hold on, I gotta use the bathroom real quick. Gotta use the El Baño pretty quicko, so I'll be back in a minute. So I'll be right back, everybody. Please thank you for your patience, I'll be RB. Alright, thanks for waiting everybody, I'm all back. Gotta be real quick with these things, don't I? I just have to check something real quick. Okay, let's continue. Boop, 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 boop. He's gonna be in big gold trouble right now. Alright, let's do it Larry, let's see what you got. The Night of the Cream. Alright, now you're gonna tell me what you really saw last night. Whoa, you're really upset, aren't you, Edgy? Okay, I'll talk. Huh? That was a bit too easy. Yeah, anyway, it was awesome. Never seen anything like it. At around 10 o'clock last night, it started thundering. I've been sleeping... I'm not sure for how long. Suddenly, zing! The world in front of me went white. 
Like, I've just been slapped in the face by my old girlfriend, Naomi. And then... And then... It was on fire. The bridge was on fire. Dusky Bridge caught on fire? Are you saying you saw it with your own, own eyes? Hey, why are you giving me the evil eye? I'm telling the truth. Hmm, there are still three Psycho Locks remaining. That means he's still trying to hide something. By the way, Larry, where were you when you saw that happen? <laughs> what do you say? What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? Just answer the question. I was in my own room by the main hall. Where else would I be? As usual, you're as transparent as an empty jelly jar. The problem, I suspect, lies there. D d there What do you mean, there? It's impossible for you to see lightning strike Dusky Bridge from your room. Ran... no, that's not it. The lightning testimonies... Here we go. Some lightning, 10 to 11, struck Dusty Bridge at 10.45. Around 30 minutes, about 10.45. It would have been impossible to see lightning strike Dusky Bridge from your room. Oh yeah, because of that, there's a cliff in the way, right? Yeah, there's a cliff in the way. This is a map of the area. Take a look around the vicinity of Hazakura Temple. Ooh, what am I looking for? I think that should be fairly obvious. The main hall is surrounded by trees and it's impossible to see the bridge from here. What? Why didn't you tell me that before? Really? Well, how about it? How about what? Do you feel like talking now? About what? It looks like it won't be that easy after all. You leave me no choice. I have to move on to the next step. Delete this or tell me. So, where were you? Y you don't know that I wasn't in my room. So where was Larry and why was he there? If I read the situation up to this point correctly, the answer is fairly obvious. Very well, then let's test my theory. The place you witnessed lightning strike in Dusky Bridge was from... Here. It should be like the bridge itself, right? This is where you were. Well, what do you think, Larry? Oh, not much, I guess. I'm sorry, but what kind of answer was that? Well, you were just making small talk. Oh, that didn't work. So, I guess he was at Heavenly Hall, then. I just can't point the bridge, right? That didn't work up. The place you saw the lightning strike was from, naturally, Heavenly Hall. Why would I be hanging out in this old shack? It's freezing cold, there's no electricity, and it could fall apart at any minute. Larry... How do you know that anyway? How do you know that there's no electricity? After all, it's not that dark yet. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. In other words, you just have to- you just- you have just provided evidence to prove my theory. My theory that you have at least once in your life visited Heavenly Hall after sunset. I have to admit I'm impressed, Edgy. You're in a totally different league from Nick. That's nice. Now tell me, what were you doing at this cold little shack last night? That's what you might call a fair decor. I think you mean a fair decor. Could it be you were waiting for someone? Oh no. You really are one scary guy, you know. Oh my goodness. Are you telling me Larry's the one who sent the freaking blackmail? Oh my goodness, maybe Larry is the one who sent the blackmail trying to tell Iris about the secret, but Iris was so scared that she never came out. So, he was just waiting. Oh wait, did I just... I just backed out of it! Oh no! I backed out of the whole thing! Ah... Well, good thing I just skipped everything. I just gotta hold on. At least I know where everything else, where everything is, though. Can't believe I backed out of that whole thing. All right, if you weren't there, you were absolutely a heavenly hall. And then we'll get to the final part. Breaking all those psycho locks. All right, there we go. You were waiting for Iris. There's only one person you wait for in a horrible place like this, Larry. I told you before, don't call me Larry. The person you were waiting for was Iris. Oh, suddenly I feel cold all over, Edgy. 
No doubt because of my chilly glare. So you think I got the hots for Sister Iris, huh? Do you have some kind of evidence? You got something that proves I was waiting for her? Or are you just guessing? This is where I draw the line and end this ridiculous little game. Here's the evidence that proves you were waiting for Iris. It's called... The Shichichito, the bloody sword. There we go. Here's your evidence. You called it to the spot with a pathetic blackmail letter. Oh, hey, give that back. You're embarrassing me. What were you doing with this anyway? That's not important. I misjudge you, Larry. What do you mean? Taking advantage of a woman's frailty like this? You should be a f you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh. Oh. First of all, what's this at the top of the letter? It says salutations here. Well, that's what it said in that book, letter writing for dummies. You're not supposed to actually write that. That's where you're supposed to write, Dear Iris. Ah! I'm so sorry. Salutations here. Salutations, my fellow kids. Salutations, my fellow boomers. Salutations, my fellow gamers. So you were here in Heavenly Hole last night, weren't you, Larry? And you saw the lightning hit Dusky Bridge, didn't you? Sorry, Edgy. Sorry doesn't cut it, you scumbag, threatening a young lady like that. Hmm. Wait, hold up. Wait, hold up. What now, pal? What are you talking about? What threatening stuff? I'll tell you what, you tried to scare Iris by threatening her to expose a secret, pal. What do you mean, threaten? What did I- when did I threaten her? Unless you want your secret to be exposed. That sure sounds like a threat to me, pal. Blackmail, in fact. Give me a break, it's a love letter. Haven't you ever been in love? What did you just say? Also, I threaten people all the time by exposing their secrets. Wait, I didn't mean threaten, I mean... I tell people I love them by exposing their secrets. I love you... Uh, no, no, that's not good. I, how can I say I love some... I'll expose your secret. And the secret is that they love me. You see? Win-win situation. Even if they don't love me, the letter says they love me by exposing their secret. Their secret is that they love me. So, win-win, end the game. Me won, day zero. Me win, day lose. Me smart, day dumb. Me SMRT, day D-U-M-M. My love for her burns so hotly it can melt all the snow on this mountain. It could cause- it can cause global warming. Sounds like a threat, Pixel. Now. Oh, then what is the secret you mention? Come on, Edgy. Don't you get it? I'm talking about the secret love between her and me. Obviously, she wouldn't want old lady bikini to know about it, right? About our hot and sour, bitter love, bittersweet love affair. <laughs> Alright, then why'd you send, them, send the love letter in a business like Manila Envelope? Give me a break, it's not my fault I didn't have any other envelopes, sheesh! Then why are we so quick to apologize, pal? It's cause Edgy gave me that scary look of his! What's wrong, Edgy? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? That's it? That's what all those huge locks were about? I don't understand why you were so defensive! Well, I don't know either, I guess the thing is... You shouldn't expect too much from a guy like me! Hey, come on, don't let it get you down. But Mr. Edgeworth, this guy's still hiding something, I know it. What do you mean, detective? Don't forget what this guy just said a minute ago. If you really want to know, last night, I saw something incredible. Hmm, he's right. Larry, what? You're looking at me like a hungry dog that just found a bone. And good thing I'm hungry because he's full of bones. What was the something incredible you saw last night? You're gonna tell me, Larry, one way or another. We'll throw you in the river if you don't do it. I- I already told you, didn't I? I saw lightning strike Dusky Bridge. Yes, and I believe it was the incredible sight you saw. But now that I think about it, something doesn't quite ring true. What doesn't? If that's all there is to your story, your heart wouldn't have all those locks. Therefore, Larry... I do believe you saw something last night. Something more incredible than lightning. What? When? Where? Why? How? Hey, what do you think you're doing? If you hide anything from Mr. Edgeworth, I'll rush you on the spot, pal. <laughs> ah. Oh, wait, what? Oh, 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 no. A 
five lock? No! What's wrong, sir? Does this mean I have to do it all over again? Why are you glaring at me like I'm next to be hit by a bolt of lightning? I've just about had it with this Harlequin. If I really want to drag the truth out of him, I'll just have to drag him to the witness stand. Oh my goodness, friggin' Larry. And that is the end of that. Thank you all for coming to tonight's stream. I'm sorry I have to end it short. I am getting very sleepy for some reason. I want to continue on, but I don't want to fall asleep in the middle of the case. But yes, thank you all for coming. I will be streaming Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with some Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows. I hope to see you then. But I don't know why. I don't, I don't want to do Pixel Sleeping Stream. But yes, Edgeworth did say I'm going to head out. All right, I'm going to head out. The thing is, I don't know why I'm so sleepy today. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, thanks for coming, everybody. Love you all. Peace out.